here, I'm a doctor in natural medicine and a researcher in the field of kidney health. Guys, I've recently witnessed the true story of a patient literally going back two stages of kidney disease. He has cut his creatinine in half. Yes, this can happen. I have seen it in person. So, how can you pull off this kidney comeback and in just seven days? For this patient and for many others, the key is to drastically reduce the mountain of toxins their kidneys have to deal with every single day. Yeah, I know it sounds like a small thing, but trust me, it's a game changer because these toxins are everywhere. They're in the air you breathe, the water you drink, the food you eat, and don't even get me started on the medications you take. These little gremlins accumulate in your body, causing inflammation, oxidative stress, and a whole lot of damage. And your kidneys are the frontline soldiers in this toxic work, and they're getting shell-shocked. But there is hope. You can help your kidneys by removing the sources of toxins from your diet and lifestyle day by day. This is why today I'm going to share with you 7 tips that will help you detoxify your kidneys from the 7 most dangerous toxins. Let's see what they are starting with Day 1. Excess Acid Picture this. Your kidneys are like sweet innocent puppies and all that acid in your body, it's like throwing those puppies into, well, acid. Yeah, doesn't sound right, does it? So what's the solution to stop this kidney torture? A green detoxing smoothie recipe that breaks your cells, actually tastes good, and that detoxifies excess acid. The goal here is to replace those acid-forming foods in your diet, you know, meat, junk foods, that kind of stuff, something as alkalizing as this smoothie. Here is how to make it. Let's start with a kiwi. Humble as it may look, the kiwi not only is packed with almost double the vitamin C of oranges, take that orange, but it's also more alkalizing than nearly every other fruit out there. Next up, let's toss in two tangerines. These little guys aren't just bursting with fiber, they're also packing no biotin, a plant flavonoid that's basically the best friend of people with diabetes, as we can see. And by the way, you don't necessarily have to peel these fruits. Now, let's add 20 grams of walnuts. Walnuts aren't just any nuts. They're the nuttiest nuts on the planet when it comes to antioxidants. Plus, they're a fantastic source of omega-3s, which are like the smooth-talking negotiator in your body, calming down inflammation and keeping everything running smoothly. And speaking of seeds, let's not forget chia seeds, my personal favorite. These tiny seeds are like the secret for turning your smoothies into a creamy deliciousness. And for now, for the grand finale, half a cup of kale. Kale isn't just a health champion, it's the second most alkaline veggie on earth, right after spinach. And guys, the reason why this smoothie is so healthy is because studies found out that when we start replacing acid-forming foods with alkaline-producing foods, it's actually possible to stop the decline of kidney function. Yes, as we can read, it's even possible to improve. Yes, as we can read, it's even possible to improve just by eating foods like this regularly. So let's also add four ice cubes and a little bit of water and blend. Okay. Next, day two, let's detoxify excess potassium. All right, let's get rid for a second. Worried about all the potassium packed into those fruit and veggies? Well, guess what? Don't be. We can detox that too. You might be thinking, but Catherine, my potassium is always riding the edge of normal, hovering around 5.2 milli equivalents per liter. What can I do other than dropping my ARBs and ACE inhibitors to bring it down? 
Well, I'm glad you asked because it's 2024. People, we've got solutions for high potassium levels that actually work. Sure, I usually recommend having your doctor take a long, hard look at your medication list, but today I'm going to show you a quicker fix. Let's talk about potassium binders. First of all, they are real. Yes, you heard me right. Potassium binders are a real thing, not some myth like Bigfoot or a doctor who actually listens to your concerns. I mean, if I had a banana for every patient with high potassium and a clueless doctor, I'd be King Kong by now. But hey, I get why some doctors don't trust potassium binders. Until recently, the only option was k axalate which, let's be honest, left your gut looking like a war zone. But here is the good news. Today, we have new and improved options. Enter Lucelma and Viltessa, the next-gen potassium binders. Yeah, these names really roll off the tongue. I mean, they should have called them something like potassium free or banana be gone. I bet doctors wouldn't have forgotten about them so quick. Okay, doesn't matter. Despite the names, these medications have made dealing with high potassium less like navigating a minefield and more like taking a stroll in the park. These newer meds aren't just better tolerated, they're also seriously effective. As we can see, patients with too high potassium were able to get back to normal in just 48 hours and with a relatively low dose of Lucelma. And I know what you may be thinking, but Catherine, these aren't natural. They're meds, they require a prescription. And yeah, you're right, but let's get real. If it works and it's safe, who the hell cares if it's natural or not? Leave that kind of magical thinking to healers with their crystals and to influencers with their cold plunges. I'm here to talk about what actually gets the job done. Up next, day 3, let's detoxify a hidden danger for CKD patients, free radicals. But how do we get rid of them? In order to detoxify free radicals, start every morning with a cup of green tea with a splash of lemon. So the way this works is simple. Green tea is like that overachiever in high school who's good at everything. Oh, thanks to EGCG, a catechine with powerful antioxidant properties. But here's the catch. This superstar antioxidant has one fatal flaw. It's about as bioavailable as a politician's promise. Your intestines barely absorb it. Your liver quickly kicks it to the curb. And then it's out of here faster than you can say detox. It's like giving your teenager a brand new sweater only for them to bury it in the back of the closet. So ungrateful. So what do we do? We add lemon to our green tea because here's the secret. The vitamin C in lemon supercharges the bioavailability of EGCG by five times or more. That's right, lemon turns your underperforming green tea into a free radical fighting powerhouse. You'll be detoxifying those free radicals like a boss. And I know, I know what you may be thinking. But Catherine, free radicals are an entirely commonplace phenomenon within our bodies and they are indispensable for intracellular communication and signal transduction. Why would we want to detoxify them? Oh, that's a very good question. And you are right about free radicals. They're part of the normal bodily processes. But you see, we don't want to get rid of all of them, just the excess. Because while it's true that free radicals are needed by the body, main pathway in which diseases such as diabetes and high blood pressure damage the kidneys is a process called oxidative stress. All right? Think of free radicals like party guests. Some are great but too many and they trash the place. And in this case, the place they're trashing is your kidneys. And this is exactly what this green tea with lemon is for. It will add antioxidants. Antioxidants are actually proven by science to improve kidney function. Yep, science says so. 
And the best part, green tea is easy to turn into a daily habit and that's how you make real, significant changes. Start with a small good habit like this and before you know it, you're basically a health guru. Up next, day four, let's get rid of another dangerous score, uremic toxins. All right, let's talk about another ridiculously simple way to keep your kidneys from drowning in a toxic swamp. Add more fiber to slow down CKD progression. And this is strongly supported by science to decrease uremic toxins, by the way. Yeah, more fiber, less kidney damage. And now you may ask, if it was that simple, why isn't everyone doing it? Now, what might be more complicated is actually getting there. Because let's be real, you need a boatload of fiber every day. Way more than what most people think they can manage. The recommended minimum daily intake is 30 grams, but most people are barely hitting half of that. Not exactly shocking when you consider that an apple has a measly two grams of fiber and a cup of lettuce isn't even worth mentioning at half a gram. It's like trying to fill a swimming pool with a teaspoon every day. So how do we double your fiber intake without having you gnawing on tree bark? First, focus on whole grains. These bad boys are fiber powerhouses. Eat a cup of oatmeal every morning and boom! You're just added 5 grams of fiber and throw in some berries as well. Next, ditch the white bread and rice. Swap them for whole wheat and brown rice or better yet, go for barley or quinoa. And if you're feeling snacky, freeze your favorite fruits like berries, bananas and grapes and munch on those every time you want. Another pro tip, go for a lunch pack with greens and beans. Because let's face it, improving your kidney function is all about fiber. These foods are bursting with it and as a bonus, they come with a side of extra health benefits for your kidneys. And of course, you can also add a supplement of acacia fiber or psyllium husk. I always recommend these because they don't just boost your fiber intake. They literally grab onto excess toxins in your intestine and give them a one-way ticket get out of your body no refund no return okay guys so we have seen how to detox uremic toxins excess free radicals and even excess acid let's now take a look at yet another simple tip that works for something even more annoying swelling day five let's detoxify excess fluid and say goodbye to swelling Swelling is, you know, when your legs or feet start looking like someone swapped them out for balloons. Yeah, that's usually excess fluid deciding to camp out in your body like it's on an all-inclusive vacation. Now, there are prescription diuretics that help with swelling, but they also tend to have side effects and they can present some dangers for people in the advanced stages. So what's the alternative? Something more natural perhaps? So, with the goal of saying goodbye to swelling and hello to actually fitting in your old shoes, well, here is a recommendation that only a naturopath could give you. Take magnesium and vitamin B6 together. Seriously, this combo is like the dynamic duo of urine production. Take it and suddenly your kidneys are working better, flushing out fluids like their lives depended on it. Exactly what we need to keep swelling at bay. So if you have kidney disease, do yourself a favor and get a renal multivitamin containing vitamin B6. Pair that with 100 milligrams of elemental magnesium twice a day after meals. That's about half a tablespoon if you're buying magnesium powder easy peasy. And for an extra kick to the swelling, try lying down with your legs raised whenever you can, especially in the evening and before bed. This could also reduce the need for urinating at night. Remember, drink lots of fluids and flush out excess fluids. And for the love of your kidneys, cut down on the salt. And no, before you ask, Celtic salt is not the magical unicorn of salt. It's just salt, guys. Time now for day six and trust me, this one's going to be a game changer, an easy way to cut your proteinuria in half. Let's take a look. So what's the secret sauce? According to studies, these two supplements can actually repair the microvessels damage inside the kidneys that causes proteinuria. But here's the trick. 
They only work if you take them together. Think of it like a dynamic duo. Batman and Robin, peanut butter and jelly, or in this case, Astragalus and turmeric. Proteinuria, also known as albuminuria, is a key marker for kidney health. It actually predicts if you are going to get a better or worse kidney function at your next scheduled checkup. It's your kidney's way of waving a big red flag saying, hey, pay attention. Now, in my experience, there is a supplement combo that works wonders for getting those proteinuria levels down where they belong. First up is astragalus. This is a root that has been used for centuries to help with kidney issues. Today, we know that it, well, it actually works, especially on proteinuria, but don't take it alone. Always add turmeric to astragalus. These two together are like the power couple of the supplement world. When they join forces, they repair the microvessels inside your organs, like they're running a body shop for kidneys. And the benefits don't stop there. This combo is also a knockout for diabetes, reducing beta cell damage in your pancreas, the very cells that crank out insulin. Okay guys, one more easy tip to share with you today. Day 7. Take calcium carbonate to save your kidneys from phosphorus which is one of the worst toxins you need to take care of. The way calcium carbonate helps is by binding to the phosphorus in your food, kicking out through your bowel, and by preventing your body from hoarding any extra phosphorus. But keep in mind that due to the way they work, calcium carbonate binders can only help if you take them with meals. This is a big deal because when phosphorus builds up, which it loves to do in CKD, it starts pulling calcium from your bones faster than a thief in the night. And that's why we're all about cutting back on meat, dairy and fish because they're basically phosphorus bombs waiting to explode in your body. Oh, and let's not forget, phosphorus is the main reason for that delightful uremic paritis. And well, it's also speeding up your trip down the kidney failure highway, complete with a higher chance of, you know, death. And this is just one more reason to take between 800 and 2000 milligrams a day of calcium carbonate before the main meals. And if you want to know more about how to treat the other common complications of CKD, my video up here is for you. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye-bye.